Hello, my name is Laura House and I'm here to talk about health, sport and physical activity in Australia. One of the major health issues within Australian youth is body image. Body image is the attitude or feelings we have about our body and the way we look or the way we think others see us. Society and media play a huge part in how Australian youth perceive body image. According to Ruskin et al. 2013, the perception of each gender had become narrowed to an ideal body type and it can become a source of depression for those who are unable to change what has been genetically predetermined. When a person bases much of their self-esteem on their ability to lose weight and recognises much of their social life to conforming to the rules of their diet, then simple dieting may become something more dangerous. These dangers include various eating disorders such as anorexia, obesity slash overeating or binge eating and bulimia when youth are unable to achieve or maintain a certain body image that society has created. Another major health issue with the Australian youth is mental health. In today's society, Australian youth face increased levels of stress because many factors such as school, work, family life, money and many more factors. Continuous stress can cause many side effects physically such as headaches, tight muscles, high blood pressure and ulcers. Continuous stress can also cause emotional and psychological side effects such as depression, low self-esteem and in worst cases self-harm and suicide. Youth perceive events as either negatively or positively. For instance, the way youth may see themselves will develop a positive or negative cycle depending on how they perceive events and experiences. A third major health issue that Australian youth face is cyberbullying. Cyberbullying can be defined as the deliberate harassment of a person using communications technology such as mobile phones, email, social media and other chat websites. During the 21st century, technology has changed drastically. New forms of communication have been made possible through the use of online social media. Therefore, there are different types of cyberbullying such as phone pranking, image sharing, sending insulting or threatening emails and texts. Extreme or continuous cyberbullying can have disturbing and negative effects on the youth of Australia, often resulting in depression, low self-esteem and less social interaction. Extreme and prolonged cases often cause self-harm and suicide. Physical activity and Australian youth, the risks of sedentary lifestyles. Physical activity is defined as a series of bodily movements produced by the muscles that result in energy expenditure. Participating in physical activity throughout childhood and into adulthood is very important, especially for preventing and managing health-related diseases, psychosocial well-being, maintaining good health in the musculoskeletal system and body weight. Leading a sedentary lifestyle can lead to many chronic illnesses and disabilities, such as cardiovascular disease, obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, depression, osteoporosis, anxiety, and many more. Physical activity in the Australian youth, Australian physical activity and sedentary guidelines. Being physically active and decreasing acts of sedentary behaviour every day is important for health and well-being, physically, mentally, socially and emotionally. The Australian Government Department of Health have created guidelines and recommendations that help improve health through all ages. The Department of Health recommends that toddlers 1-3 to three years old engage in at least 3 hours a day of physical activity with 1 hour a day of watching TV, DVDs or playing games. Children from 5-12 to 12 years are encouraged to accumulate at least 60 minutes of physical activity a day. Physical activities should include activities that strengthen muscle and bone. Young adults from 13 to 17 years old should be accumulating at least 60 minutes of physical activity throughout the day and engaging in minimal sedentary behaviour. Physical activity and the Australian youth. How physical activity promotes better health outcomes. Although physical activity and exercise is important for efficient functioning of the body and systems, it is, however, great for emotional and psychological well-being. The benefits of physical exercise can extend to promoting health, mental well-being, social connections, increasing productivity, positive changes to the environment and decreased chances of mental illnesses. 
When individuals engage in physical exercise, this alters a chemical in the brain which is called serotonin, which is linked to depression. This chemical is altered through exercise and can result in improved moods and feelings of well-being. According to the Better Health Channel from the Victorian government, some research indicates that regular exercise also boosts body temperature, which may ease depression by influencing the brain chemicals. Involvement in sport is one way people can develop self-confidence and high self-esteem through achieving goals and tasks. It can also be noted by Beyond Blue, a help organisation that youth suffering from depression, anxiety and low self-esteem have shown significant improvement over the six-week course intervention program and that young people who received physical activity reported the greatest improvement in depression symptoms. Schools improving health among the Australian youth. Schools should ensure that learning, teaching and social environment are supportive to youth's health and well-being. According to the Queensland Government, students learn best when their well-being is optimised and they develop a strong sense of well-being when they experience success in learning. Schools can provide support by giving students the use of a student counsellor, teachers making time available to students, teachers, parents and students coming together to battle bullying, unfairness and negative behaviours. Schools can also offer educational and play spaces that provide comfort and warmth while also promoting healthy learning and experiences. Schools are also engage in various government organisations and non-for-profit organisations that help promote youth health and well-being, such as Healthy Harold Bullying No Way, Milo Into Cricket, Bully Stoppers, Healthy Kids and many, many more. Healthy Harold is a Life Education Australian registered charity and a non-for-profit organisation that provides positive programs for young children. These programs help develop and teach children about the social skills and knowledge for effective decision making, communication, peer resistance and refusal in drug related situations. Healthy Harold works in partnerships with schools and the community to help reduce tobacco and illicit drug use and encourages healthy choices. This charity organisation's mission is to empower the young and to make best choices for a safe life through leading drug and health education programs and aiming for the Australians to enjoy life free from the effects of drug misuse. Healthy Harold also offers a website that contains educational resources for schools, teachers and parents, as well as interactive educational games for students. The website also offers support contact information for students, teachers and parents, healthy eating challenges, healthy food recipes, education quizzes, an online store and many, many more resources and information. Bullying No Way is managed by the Safe Supportive Schools Communities, which includes education representatives from all states and territories. Bullying No Way aims for members to work together to create learning environments where every student and school community member is safe, supported, respected and valued. Bullying No Way provides an interactive website for teachers, students, parents and young children. The organisation also offers updated news and resources as well as a helpline. Bullying No Way provides awareness about bullying, the effects of bullying and prevention strategies for children and adults. There are also interactive educational games, quizzes, fact sheets and frameworks available through the website. Bullying not only offers classroom individual strategies for tackling bullying but also whole school programs and resources.